Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. In this video, we'll be continuing to program GPIO pins of the Raspberry Pi. For the previous tutorial in this series, you can click on the link above. In this session, we'll control servo motors. First, let's see our connections. I'll be using PowerHD 3001 HP servo for the examples. The servo has three cables, red, brown, and yellow. The red cable and the brown cable should be connected to power supply unit, VCC and ground respectively. However, for demo purposes, I'll be using the 5V and ground pins of the Raspberry Pi. It should not make a problem since I won't be loading any weight on the servo. The control cable, the yellow one, will be connected to GPIO 70. Now let's see these connections in our setup. Here we have our servo motor, it's 3001 HP from PowerHD. And it has three connections brown red and yellow and i tried to find similar colored extension cables brown red and yellow and the brown cable is connected to the ground yellow cable is connected to gpf 17 and red cable is connected to 5 volts now let's connect to raspberry pi and do the gpi programming right now i'm connected to the raspberry pi via ssh and I'm in my examples directory. I've named it as Python examples slash GPIO. And I've got two examples for the servo motor. Let's see them. The first one is servo1.py and the second one is servo3001hd.py. You will see the differences in between these two. First, let's see the servo1.py. Actually, this is the example that I got from the GPIO0 documentation. In the first line, we are importing servo from GPIO0. In the second line, we are importing sleep from time. And we are defining our servo connected to the GPIO17 port. And then we are using the min function of the servo. This is going to send the servo to its minimum angle. It's going to sleep for two seconds. Then the servo will go to its maximum angle value with the servo.max function and then it's going to sleep two seconds again again go back to its minimum angle and sleep two seconds again now let's run the code and see the movement of the servo now let's run the code python 3 servo1.py Let's run it again to see properly. Okay, you've seen that first it goes to its minimal angle position and then to its maximum angle position and then to the minimum angle position again. Let me run it once again to see properly. Minimum, maximum and minimum again. But here you can see that there's a problem. The servo is rotating at about 90 degrees or a bit more. However, we are expecting it to move in a wider angle, actually from zero degrees to 180 degrees. It's not happening in this case. In order to see this, let's see the specifications of our servo motor. This is the data sheet of the PowerHD 3001 HP servo motor. So let's see its specifications. If we scroll down in this page, we can see that the control system is pulse width modulation. And if you look at this, you can see that the maximum travel is approximately 165 degrees. So it's not 180 degrees at all. And additionally, this is the time interval that you need to use in order to control this servo. It's starting from 800 microseconds to 2200 microseconds. So it's 0 0.8 milliseconds to 2.2 milliseconds. But in general, servo motors use 1 millisecond to 2 milliseconds. So it seems that we need to specify this in our code. Now let's see the GPIO library in order to understand better. 
Now we are seeing the servo class in GPIO0 library. So let's see the parameters of this class. Here you can see that there are two parameters named minimum pass width and maximum pass width. And the default value of the minimum pass width is 1 milliseconds. And the default value of maximum pass width is 2 milliseconds. You can recall from the data sheet of our servo that the minimum pass width was supposed to be 0 0.8 milliseconds and the maximum pulse width was supposed to be 2.2 milliseconds. So this means that we need to change these values in our code respectively. We will define these parameters while calling the servo class. Let's again connect to the Raspberry Pi and do these changes. I've already done these changes and saved it as servo3001hd.py. So let's see this code. Okay, we are again importing server from GPIO0. We are importing sleep from time. Now, this is the important line that we modified. We are defining the servo connected to GPIO17 and the minimum pulse width is going to be 0 0.8 milliseconds. And the maximum pulse width is going to be 2.2 milliseconds. This is how we defined it. The rest of the code is the same. It's going to its minimum position sleep for two seconds, go to its maximum position, sleep for two seconds, and again, go to its minimum position and sleep for two seconds. Let's run this code and see how the server rotates this time. Now I'm going to run the code, Python 3, servo 3001hd.py. Let me hold the servo so that it doesn't move. And I'm going to run the script. You can see that it has a much wider angle than our previous example. Let me run it again. First, it will go to its minimum position, to its maximum position, and back to its minimum position again. Minimum position, maximum position, and minimum position again. Let's run it for the last time. Minimum position, maximum position, and back to the minimum position again. So this was the last example for the GPIO0 for servo motors. Thank you for watching. See you next time. Bye.